This interactive simulation presents a visual representation of how the volumetric flow rate changes when we carry out a gas phase reaction at steady state in a plug flow reactor if we have a reaction where the moles change. So if one mole reacts to two moles, then the volumetric flow rate increases, and the simulation represents this. And I made a snapshot where first order reaction, and what we look at is a starting control volume of 10 milliliters. What we're doing is following that volume through the reactor. At any given point, things are not changing with time. We're just looking at a control volume, and the simulation calculates conversion, the change in the volume, and then what the actual volume is. And clicking this run button starts the simulation. Once we click that, there's a pause button, which I hit here so I can represent part way through. This is a constant pressure, isothermal, steady state. The blue molecules are reactants and the green molecules are products. This is the reset to start over. And I can change the order of the reaction. I'm looking at first order here, half order, second order, and that's going to affect how much conversion takes place in the reactor. What we've done in the simulation to try and make the comparisons between the different systems easier is that at 10 bar pressure, the inlet rates are the same for the different reaction orders. And so this makes it a little easier to show how change reaction order changes the conversion. So let's go and look at the actual simulation. So let's look at the interactive simulation. This is at the start of the simulation. We picked the reaction order as first order. And we selected the moles of product over moles of reactant as being equal to 2. So this means the reaction is one molecule of A reacts to two molecules of B. So let's start by selecting the run reaction. And I'm going to pause after some time so we can look at what happened. So at the inlet, we, we picked the volume of 10 milliliters. Keep in mind, this is a steady state process. We're just following a volume through the reactor. And now at the point where we stop partway through the reactor, we've converted 39.3% of reactant A. And so you see number of blue molecules in the simulation representing the product. And notice now the volume that was originally 10 milliliters is now expanded to 13.9 because we have more moles. And as we continue to run, it'll continue to expand, and the simulation shows what the change in volume is at the in, at the outlet. The conversion is 69%. If we instead run and let's reset it, and run a reaction where one molecule of A forms only half a molecule of B, so the number of moles decrease. Now as reaction proceeds, notice the volume gets smaller. So this means the, the volumetric flow rate is decreasing because we have fewer moles. And now one consequence of this, since we have set the simulation up so the rate, the initial rate, is the same for these different reactions at 10 bar, you notice that we have a higher conversion because the molecules spent more time in the reactor, they're slowing down. The flow rate slower, so they have more time to react. And you can carry out a first order reaction. And if we carry out, let's look at one more, so we'll reset. We can look at a reaction which one mole of A forms one mole of B. So if we run that simulation, notice there's no volume change. The number of moles hasn't changed. The volumetric flow rate remains the same. And at the end, the exit, we have the same volumetric flow rate as the inlet. 
Well, we can change the reaction order, and reaction order is going to determine, so we can compare different reaction orders, how much reaction takes place. We can also change the pressure, and of course, changing the pressure means we'd have lower pressure, fewer molecules, higher pressure, more molecules, the same conditions for that same 10 milliliters that we're going to follow through the reactor.